My name is John. I'm a entrepreneur, public speaker, and investor. I'm inspired by different people. Um, some of the people I'm inspired by include Brian Tracy, Les Brown, Mufti Menk, Miles Monroe, Wayne Dyer, to name a few. But in addition to that, I'm also inspired by like people that are just doing their thing. Anyone, anyone that's doing you know something that they're planning out to do, they inspire me. I got a friend that started up a business. We literally went out to start to look at a place, um, and he had he just literally just spoke and said, you know what? I want to have a stall at this event next time. Nine weeks later, he had a stall set up, cooking, doing his own thing. And before that, nothing at all. Me seeing him doing his thing inspires me. That's inspiration. That's inspiration to me as well. I want to be remembered as someone that never gave up. Uh, a symbol of hope that someone that represents resilience, determination, courage, um, and someone that was that was passionate about ideas. You know, the right but someone that you know they thought wouldn't do what they could do, but they ended up doing it anyway. I don't remember this that. Yeah, there's moments, there's been different moments. That lots of, I can remember significant ones. 2011 was it was a, was one moment, things changed. Um, 2015 was another one. There, there are events that happened. 2011, my mom died. 2015, um, a whole load of other stuff was happening, challenges with family and things like that, but all of them have been stepping stones. So I'm always thinking like, this is my moment of change. I mean, I'm in it now. I'm in that transition now, but it's ongoing. When you're like on the floor, you see a ceiling, you get up there. Before you know it, that ceiling becomes the floor. There's another ceiling. So I'm always, there's always, there's always moments where I'm thinking like, you know, I've changed or I'm different or this is like a new beginning. I've learned from my mistakes. So yeah, it's constant all the time. Yes, change, change, change. Small, um, I've, I, I, I've got, I think it's not about quantity. So it's not about qu quantity, it's about quality when it comes to people around me now. So yeah, I've lost a handful of associates to the process, but I know it's part, it's part of the package. You know, in order to be great, you have to be willing to be misunderstood. And um, not everyone can go where you're going. And sometimes it's friends, sometimes it's family, sometimes it's whoever, but um, when you're guided into that next season of your life, the people or things that don't fit you, they just fake. Blood, sweat and tears, literally, like literally, I've bled, um, I've sweated and I've said that quite, yeah. So yeah, so the first one. I think I'm different because I've got, my why is different. Everyone has a motive or an agenda to why they do something. My why is very different to most people. Most people, their why is, I want to have a big house, a big car, big shoes, big belt, big everything, big, big. But for me, it's more about quality and substance, significance, impact and influence. Um, and, and doing something that makes a change. That's what makes me different and separates me from the rest. Resilience, um, determination and patience. Reading, reading, and reading. <laughs> um, yeah, it's about it, really. <laughs> all the time, all the time, always measuring it. Um, all smart goals have to be measured. It's one of the one of the um, criteria that you need for a goal. Have to be measured. So um, it's important to look back and see where you've come from in relation to where you're going. So I always make sure. Awesome. I face a lot of adversity. Um, 
it's not really helped me remain focused, but I've been put or forced or pushed to remain focused because of the adversity. Whether it be losing money, um, things not going as planned in business, it forces you to just do something different. So I'm therefore doing it. It's not really help, it's helping me, but I don't see it as help. It's more like, it's almost like a push in the right direction. I can't fail because of this situation. I can't sleep because of this situation. I can't give up because of this situation. I have to keep going. So the 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 situ the problem, adversity, the circumstance or, or the trial is good because it helps push me towards what I'm going. Self-belief. I think it all bothers the self-belief. The person who succeeds really believes that they can succeed. No one succeeds by accident. Oh my gosh, I just randomly part is really success now. It's, it's always intentional and um, it, it's deliberate. But it starts with self-belief. If you believe yourself that I can, I will, I must, you'll do it. Growing up, hey. uh, rubbish, waste of space. Um, naughty, problem, um, embarrassment, put your shame to the family. I used to hear that one a lot. Um, but growing up, yeah, those are the words that I describe me growing up. Now, uh, nah, not so much. I think things have changed a little bit. But growing up, yeah, that, that's, that's how it seems to me. Wow, the future. Only the most pandas. Yeah, I don't, I don't take care of that. I only take care of today. That's, that's my only duty. Um, I don't know much about it. I know it's bright, it's very bright, so bright, I might need some sunglasses, but uh, it, it's, it's, in, it's in the hands of someone much greater. I would be um, the black Mr. Tumble on CBBS, doing um, maybe lullabies, sing along in a costume, yeah, that's what I was doing. If I wasn't doing what I'm doing now, that was where I was heading until I got hit at Crossroad and that totally changed my life. So yeah, if that, that, that was where I was heading towards. Mr. Tumble. <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm still in this, I'm still within the same area. I'm still within the same area and I've got a handful of my, um, my friends that uh, have, have grown up, we've grown up together. Not all of them, but a selection, very, very selected few um, are, are one of my lifelong and closest friends.